All right, Robin's got to look at our forecast for today. I was going to hold some of the umbrellas presents for people for Christmas, but no, they've been needed. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to need a, plenty of times before now and then. Right now, though, I think mainly just for the morning, by the afternoon, you're not going to need the umbrella, but uh, keep the jacket with you. Temperatures right now near 50 in San Francisco it might only warm up five more degrees today, even as the sun breaks out. 50 currently in Dublin with uh, rain in the area, and there you see some rain in San Jose right now. Rain and wind overnight. Actually, we haven't had to talk about air quality for a while. I want to show you this. We're in the green, so the air really did get cleaned out by these storms and the wind we've seen of late. It's also been good news for snow in the Sierra. A crisp 31 degrees there at South Lake Tahoe. Winter storm warning continues. If you're going to head up to the Sierra today, another half foot of snow coming down. Weekly totals now passing seven feet of snow above 6,000 feet. Right now, scattered showers still ongoing around the Sonol grade into San Jose, but really that's about it. From here, isolated showers, and we'll transition to the clearing skies, which you see here in the future cast, passing lunchtime, mostly sunny, few stray showers up here in the North Bay Hills, and by 5 o'clock, showers should be done with as we head through the rest of the day. Highs, as we talked about, staying cool, low to mid 50s from San Francisco over to the East Bay, low 50s for highs in the North Bay and inland East Bay valleys. Then our attention begins to change to when the next rain chance comes. Right now, it looks like late Sunday for the North Bay and the North Coast. I think tomorrow and Saturday should be fine for outdoor plans. But outdoor plans Monday through Wednesday, that could get more challenging. As you see, what could be another atmospheric river connection. And like we saw uh, just within the last couple of weeks, a slow moving storm could power up some big rain totals probably through about Wednesday morning. And then as we get towards Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, things will be drying out. We'll probably need that dry break, too, as the seven-day forecast brings a lot of rain our way early next week.